My name is Ove Skoldal. I have master degrees in civil engineering and management. I've been working for almost 40 years in the Norwegian railway sector in different positions within the administration and as a consultant. At present, I'm coordinating international affairs in the Norwegian Railway Directorate. Hello to everybody, my name is Ambra Bojane. I am the R&D project manager in charge to follow the projects for Europe's Rail in Vaptec. Hello, my name is Luc Ambert and I'm an R&D engineer for Vaptec. Within Europe's Rail joint undertaking, I'm involved in two projects, FA2 or Tudato on the adhesion management topics and FA5 Transform Rail on the digitalization of freight trains. I cannot point out one specific skill, except maybe the skill of understanding the railway as a system composed of several uh, specific skills. And that by itself is a skill uh, which must be gradually developed by cooperating across the sector through different projects and positions, or maybe, and more eff efficient, effectively, through internship programs or similar institutions. The most useful skill I learned is to multitask, knowing which activity needs to take priority on a given day and managing huge matters as they arise. Good question. The most useful skills that I've developed are organizational skills on the one hand and the way I communicate to my colleagues on the other hand. There's not one particular skill I want to learn. Even after almost 40 years in the industry, I learn new skills every day. That's of course partly caused by technical, technological development, but also by enlightening all basic railway competencies, which I have not yet worked closely with until now. The main skill I would like to learn is to be more focused on IPR issue and international standards. I'd like to learn on how to find better ways to motivate and inspire my colleagues. In particular, to reach the objectives set by EU Rail. In my senior position, uh, I'm often asked for advice in all kinds of different questions way beyond my original competences or my original skills. My advantage then is that I normally know the borders of my knowledge and therefore often where to seek more knowledge and competences. And by that, I am learning and perfecting my skills every day. I am naturally enthusiastic, but I'm learning the value of passions, taking a step back and analyzing an issue before jumping right into it. I'm developing my emotional intelligence, finding new ways to prompt and gain feedback from my colleagues, understand their feelings and perspectives in order to achieve more. Uh, the most important skill I use every day is the ability to ask questions and listening to the answers to improve my role as an advisor in the industry. What I unfortunately have to admit is that the more knowledge I get, the more knowledge I understand that I do not have. Life was much easier 30 years ago when I knew everything. I'm in charge of monitoring all of Vaptec sites where Europe Square is involved, in, so I use my legal background and decision-making skills to exercise focus and attention to details. Languages and communication. I know French, English and Italian, and it's very important to be able to uh, talk with the other one in his native languages to make sure that we have the good understanding about the topic we're discussing and this is especially useful within the international community of EU Rail. Uh, what I experience is uh, that our industry needs uh, more all-round railway competence and transport competence. We have a lot of specialists in each separate narrow field, but there are too few people with the general uh, transport competences and understanding how, how, how each narrow field of competence just interacts to get the best possible result from the industry. And this complexity is independent from how the railway sector is managed and organized in the different European countries. 
Precision and coordination are essential and in great demand across our industry. What I personally appreciate is initiative and working autonomously. This allows to go a step further and uh, be more competitive.